Sardinia is a land amazingly rich in ruins. Thousands of impressive nuragis and playful domus de janus add to the pristine beauty of the landscape. But was it really people of our size who left all this heritage behind? From the looks of it, it doesn't appear to be so. Half of what we saw was way too big and half was way too small. Necropoli. You just enter and die. You die on the entrance. You die on the yeah. entrance. Yes, that's why they found bodies. <laughs> Someone like us going. For example, here Simon could access the second room with his head only while his body was in the first room while the rest was still outside. It continues but it's very narrow. But if your job is to cut all this in the rock, it's not enough to be able to see what you're doing. You also need access for your arms, plus some allowance of space to wave around your hammer or pickaxe. If we decide to believe the mainstream history according to which all this was done by people of our size, then they must have done it while they were newborn infants or toddlers. Because for adults or school children, it would be kind of impossible due to the size. And since the mainstream historians have managed to convince almost everybody that the ancient people were silly and obsessed with uh, the thought of their own death to the point that they were devoting their entire lives to building necropolis, and so on, that I wouldn't be surprised at all if even the storks in those times believed in all that and delivered the babies direct to the boulders where they could start building necropolises at the time they were born. If it wasn't this uh, minor problem that even the storks wouldn't fit inside the small rock chambers. But it seems that against all odds, the toddlers managed to do all the rock cutting job. And while doing so, they became so fit and muscular that probably somewhere around the age of 11 or so, they were already able to build the nuragis without any problem whatsoever. <laughs> Many of the Nuragi towers are made of really massive stones and some of them reach the height of 10-story building. I'm
And if the stories that we are told about the Nuragis don't match with the actual historic sites, that is not a problem. They can always build new Nuragis, which will not only add to the credibility of the official stories, but also you can charge $20 entry fee. <laughs> Mysterious Nuragi towers, statues and bones of giants, cute rock-cut Domus de Janus ruins, sacred well, ancient vehicle tracks, and much more from our amazing Sardinian journey coming very soon on the New Earth video channel. <laughs> Yeah.